everybody, Walker here, and episode number 17 of our Thumbcraft playthrough. We are continuing to make improvements to the tree farm that we built last time, last episode. So let's go take a look at that just for a refresher real quick here. We made it with golems using a chop core, some gather cores, and oh, a zombie. No, we didn't use a zombie. Look at that! Oh my god, I love this axe. So, it's going smashingly well. Uh, the trees are growing much faster than I thought they would, and look at that. <laughs> That's just after like an hour, because I've been doing a little uh, upgrades for what we're going to do next. That's like one hour's worth of work. Look at that. And of course, I mean, ha! <laughs> Seriously, I mean, it's getting to the point where I'm going to have to get my gather golems to be a little bit more, because he can only hold eight. We'll go inside real quick, take a look. He can only pick up eight at a time, so what I'd really like to do is have one. I'd really like a thalmium golem, because they can pick up, uh, it's either a full stack or 32 at a time. But uh, we'll explain this here in just a second. I just wanted to get somewhere semi-safe, so that we can go into our golemancy tab. Take a look at stone. Okay, so he can hold 16. That means he can pick up 16 of one item and carry it at a time. Uh, the iron golems can do 32 and the thomium. The thomium's either a full stack or there's only 32, but they're stronger and can hold more upgrades or something like that. Anyway, we'll get to that later. What we really want to do today is we need to improve that and we need to start getting it... Uh, working for us because it's working pretty darn well but we're gonna run out of herba in there in a little bit and we don't want that so what we got to do is one we got to get a way of getting the wood from there into an alchemical furnace and we're actually gonna come over here and uh, yeah we got plenty of room in our inventory whoa <laughs> holy moly And yeah. you're trying to hit me with a bone. Wow. Okay. Can see how nice this uh, axe is. So we're gonna steal this furnace and two Olympics. And as much as I don't want to, we kind of need to. And we will have to make another one because we're gonna need some Victus, and we're gonna obviously we need more Sano. So the bean farm is just gonna take a little while. We need these though. So we're going to take these over here with us. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a very standard rail system, hi bat, to move the great wood logs from this chest to another chest just for right now. That's all we're going to do right this second and then we'll go and figure out what we're going to do after that. So what we need is we put a detector rail there. Oh, no, wait, I need a, uh, yeah, that's a derpy me. All right, we're going to have to clean this out a little bit. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. Needs to be on top of a hopper, not a chest. Derp. Uh, okay, so I uh, cleaned off the enchantments that we infused onto my pickaxe of the core, and I put new ones on, including one from Forbidden Magic called Corrupting. And what that does is it turns shards into nether shards. It has a chance to do it. And so that's a great way to collect a bunch of nether shards without having to do much work for it. Uh, and we can see we're already, we need to get some of these bows into the furnace to get rid of them because I'm running out of space for stuff. I mean, I've been putting bows over here. The, the reason is, is because I also have disarming on this thing, so it's disarming the skellies before it damages their bows too much, which is kind of nice. Oops, let's put that in there. Alrighty, back up to get the rest of those shards. So, so I still get normal shards, but there's a small chance that I might get a 
kind of nether shard and I think I have all of them now so that's pretty cool we're just gonna clean this out real fast I thought I had it ready to go for this episode but like a dunce I don't all right let's fill this in here and I don't have any torches or any light down here which is probably not a good thing luckily I don't need that many Hero, I hear him. There, there, there. You know what? I'd, I'd install any eye if it wasn't that I don't care. Uh, that so that I could have the red X's to show me where the light levels are. Because uh, eventually I'm gonna just have a mess load of the. Uh, Lanterns all over the place. Okay, so now we do the hopper there. Now we can put the detector rail. And we need... Let's see if I can do this right. There we go. Okay. And a detector rail there. Okay. And I'm going to put a powered rail there and a power rail there. I know I don't need to, uh, but I know I only need one, but just for safety's sake, that's what we're going to do. And I think, if I remember right, oh, and it doesn't travel. It used to travel, I think. Okay. And then we have, all right, so if I'm doing this right, because I always mess this up. Let's put, um, I don't only have one stair block. Oops. Go make another stair real quick. Do I have any? <gasps> I do. Never mind. Don't ask me why I'm doing this this way. Um, I don't even know why I'm doing it this way. Okay, so unless I'm doing this wrong. Yep, I'm doing it wrong. Hmm. <laughs> oh, don't you know what? Actually, no, I'm not doing it completely wrong. Because it is collecting. Um, how do I make it stop again? Do I have to put a redstone signal onto it? Or am I thinking of yet another mod? I might be thinking, actually, now that I think of it, that might be what the problem is. Let me just uh, try this real quick. Hmm. Mm hmm. Well, we might have to do it the annoying way, which is movement golems, or uh, what are they called? Empty golems. They move things from one place to another. So let me research this real quick. It might be I'm thinking of a railcraft rail that allows you to do that. So uh, give me, let me be right back. Okay, so Walker made a bit of a mistake. Uh, this is what happens when you use mods a lot. You tend to forget what you can do in just plain old vanilla Minecraft. And you kind of forget that you need to make huge contraptions in order to do simple things. Like, all I wanted was for the uh, detector rail to stop the cart and drop everything into the uh, chest down below. But, of course, detector rails don't work that way, power rails don't work that way, uh, I'd need a timer, etc., and so on and so forth. Scratch that. The rail I was thinking of comes from Railcraft. Scratch that. What we're going to do instead is going to involve golems, because golems are our best transport option right now. I notice I have a whole messload of random stuff in here, right? 
what we're gonna do, we're gonna move that torch for one. I want to get this into here. So to that end, I made an empty golem, okay? Well, I made a golem and I'm gonna put an empty core on him. There it is, okay? Ah, oh, look at you little guy, you're so cute. So we're gonna tell him, move from this container or something specific. Just in case, we're gonna tell him only great wood, okay? And now we're gonna say from here to here, and hopefully that works. Right, you gonna work? There you go, okay, now let's make sure. Okay, good. So that's gonna fill up, and that's gonna fill these two Alembics with Arbor and Magic. Now then, Magic's not a problem. Uh, we're gonna actually, we're gonna say, there, okay. This is a label. You can label jars, you can label alembics, you can label uh, pipes that will accept labels, which are called, are they called labeled pipes? Filtered essential tubes. You can put a label on them. Um, and you can, you can uh, set what you want the label by taking some essentia into one of the little tiny jars and putting them in your crafting grid and it'll actually set. And we're going to do that in a second actually, but because I want only that, I want that Alembic to be the magic essence and only because what we're going to do is we're going to take a water jar and plug it down. Now that's going to fill only the magic essence out of that Alembic. Now I want this because even though that's the magic, if this runs out, the magic will fill this one up too. I want that only to be Arbor, okay? And what we're gonna do with this one, we're gonna take the tubes, um, one more, okay. And we're gonna put, oh, I haven't made it yet because I wanted to show you guys uh, as uh, how to make it. We're gonna make a centrifuge. Now a centrifuge breaks down compound essentia into its component parts. And it takes in a construct, it takes two tubes, it takes an alembic, and it takes, um, what the heck does it take? Oh wow, does it take a jar? Oh, it takes a piston, which I haven't even made yet. Why does it take the piston? That makes no sense. All right, well, I'll make a piston real quick. Plenty of that. What it's gonna do is it's gonna break it down into its component parts. Where the heck did I put my redstone? So Arbor is made up of, there it is. Arbor is made up of air and herba. So if I send Arbor through a centrifuge, I'm going to get it broken down into air and herba. And it's random, it, you can't force it to break it down into one or the other. Oops. So it's kind of luck, but if you have a whole mess load of Arbor like we're going to have, luck really doesn't play a big factor. See, alchemical centrifuge. We're gonna go shove this down there and you'll see what it's gonna do here. Now the other problem is it's gonna generate a lot of this, okay? And I think it only, yes, okay. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna, oh shoot, one herba. You know what else we need to make? And we need to make one of these, an Essentia buffer, okay? So we need an Estricted tube, which should just be stone in a tube, yep. We need two tubes, a valve, and four files. I think I have file vials. If I don't, I can make them, they're pretty easy. I don't see any right off the bat. They're not jumping out at me. That's fine. I 
just need clay. I need glass, or was it glass panes? Let's try the panes since they're right there in front of me. But I think it's glass. Yeah, it's just glass. Shoot. Did I use up all my glass? I might have used up all my glass. Derp. That's what happens. Okay, well, I need three pieces of glass to do this. It, you're pretty much making a bottle with a stopper. That's how you make files. Pretty much how you do it. Oh, you know where I... Oops, why did I do that? There. Oh no! It's not like I don't have enough grape. Yeah, there it is. Well, that's fine. We'll have some extra then, won't we? Ah, why does it do that? There. Glass files. And that's fine, because we're going to need that to uh, label stuff. Now then, I need a stone and a lever, which I already have. So we're going to go over here, because all of our magical stuff has to be done through this table. I'm really bummed out that I messed that up. Um... It would have been nice to have been able to do it the way that I remember. But them's the breaks. Wow. Yeah, what I just made. There we go. And Essentia Buffer. What this buffer does is it stores eight Essentia of any kind. It, it You can mix. I mean, you can't mix them, but you'll see should come up and we'll have two there see so it'll have up to eight either way now then what we're gonna do something a little weird okay um i don't know if i can draw are you done you're not oh because it's eight shoot um What has air? Because I need I need to make a label. Wow, look at that. It's already got 31. Ha! Ah! Now I just need a way to store more of it. I need some air, like, really bad. And I think I drained all the air that I have, because I'm stupid. Yes, I did. Well, guess what? I know what makes air. Sugar cane. Need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just eight. Eight pieces. That's all I need. Uh, and while that's doing that, what I need to do is I actually need to make some of these labels. So a V filter and a sentient tube. And I think I have one more V filter. So let's see how much work this can end up being. We're half an episode in, and I'm <laughs> not even anywhere close to getting this up to snuff. We're probably going to spend quite a few episodes working on this, uh, because we want it to be not perfect, but as close to perfect as we can get it. Alright, two of those, good. Oh good, we can get our herbal right from there, and our air right from there. And what we're going to do is we have our two labels here, right? We're just going to say one air, okay? And it doesn't use up your essentia. It used to. It doesn't anymore. One herba. And then we can use those and we can just put them in the, the uh, jars. Now, I made this special jar specifically for the air. It's called a void jar. What it's going to do for us... Now, I could... Actually, I could just... I didn't need these, did I? Well, it's good just to show. And thankfully, it's putting air where it belongs. So we're going to label that air. So now only air essentia can come through this pipe. Actually, it's a good thing. Because if I ever use this for my infusions, um, and that has herba in it, that'd be a bad thing. Now then, we're going to put that pipe there, and we're going to put herba there. Okay, so now only herba can go through this pipe. 
This room here will eventually have all our jars. This is right underneath the infusion table. So instead of having our jars along the walls, they're all going to be down here. And we'll have alembics and furnaces and golems transporting stuff for us. Now then, what we want to do with this, this is giving us a lot of different things. It's giving us magic, it's giving us air, it's giving us herba. We could break the herba down even further if we wanted to into earth and air, I think, right? Oh, Victus. So that's a way we could get Victus too. If we really needed to, we could break the Herba back uh, down even further into Victus. Okay, and then Victus breaks down into Aqua and Terra. So this is how you break it down. So if you need more of something and you have something that it can break down into, you're golden. All right. Now then, I didn't show you this tool yet. This is my other favorite tool after the axe of the stream is the shovel of the earth mover this thing is so awesome first of all where am i i'm gonna cheat a little bit here i am at 15 265 right here and about right here. Now I'm shifting for a reason. First of all, I have it enchanted with efficiency five, so it's gonna go really fast, but watch what it does, okay? Ready? Isn't that cool? Nine by nine area. And now, if I remember right, if I right click, it puts in a nine by nine area, or, oh, isn't it not doing it? Hmm. Why isn't it not doing it? Does it have to be? Maybe it. Maybe I have to be clicking on dirt. Yeah, I think that's what the problem is. I can put single blocks down if I really want to. Huh. I don't know why it's not working. Whatever. We're going to use it to go down over here. Because I want to get to that pipe. Right. Oh, I'm over too many. That's fine. All right, we're gonna go this way. Make sure I'm... No, they're not gonna have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, before my golem falls down the hole. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight from there. That's eight there. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one way to find out. Oh, good. We're there. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to put a pipe there, there. And just like you would pipe anything, we're going to pipe it. It's a little inefficient. There are better ways of doing this. I'm not going to lie. But uh, for what we're doing right now, this will work. Oops. Ah, I can't get out. And there, and there. Okay, we're not done yet. putting the dirt down there, but whatever. Okay, we're not done yet, because what we're going to do is we're going to remove the lamp. We're going to remove the jar. And we're going to put the lamp right there. And what I think I'm going to do, because I don't remember if they're going to fall down that hole or not, where he is. So I might put a fence around it, just in case. The fence isn't going to get in their way. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah, just in case. Cause I don't want my golems falling down the hole, you know? Now oh, I have sticks in my inventory. 
By the way, dinner bone, don't ever change the recipe for fences again. I keep forgetting it whenever I go over into my 1.8 uh, survival challenge playthrough. And it's kind of embarrassing to be like, hold on, I gotta go look up the damn recipe again. There. Now they won't fall down the hole on accident. I thought I saw a creeper over here. Oh, you know what I never did? I never gave my uh, golem who collects these an upgrade. He has one, right? Ah, I can't tell. Whatever. They're they're moving around too much. Oh, wow. We're almost done this episode already, and I've barely done anything. I mean, I've gotten... So now that we don't have to... Uh, it, they will continuously cut down trees, and then replant trees, and cut down trees, and replant trees. And so we don't have to worry about that anymore. And I also have a jar of herba that I don't need anymore. Um... So that's going to supply to the lamp. Right? You know what? Hmm. I think it might be better if I put another void jar on with the herba instead. Because this is going to bog down. Nothing. It's not going to do anything. And we're not going to get... Because our, our goal, ultimate goal, is to get magic. And a lot of it. And what we can do is we can... Uh, Like, have e this whole wall just be magic production. Which is actually what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to go get a... Where am I at? Oh! I'm not, like, not good enough yet. Um, I have, like, f what, four minutes left? Something like that. I need one piece of obsidian, and I know there's some... Uh, down here somewhere. There we go. Ay -ya! Rule number one. Rule number one. Well, no, that's don't dig up or don't dig straight down. Rule number whatever. Don't just run in and grab the item. Lucky I even got the damn thing. So I have no fire protection either, so... Okay, we need an empty jar. We need blaze powder. Oh boy. Um, don't need paper anymore. We can throw the shovel up in there because we don't need that anymore. We're gonna put... we're making a void jar. And, um, obsidian up top? Yep, void jar. And what would the, okay, so what the void jar does is it fills up with 64 essentia, and then any extra essentia get, that gets made is just gone. It's dispersed into oblivion. Um, how can I do this? Um,. That might work. I'm not sure if that's going to work. We're going to see if that works. What I should do is put a directional on there, but I don't... Oh, well, yeah, I do have lapis. This should work. Alright, we're going to make a mess load of jars, okay? If we can, if we have the glass for it. I have seven glass left. That's enough for two jars. Plus whatever I threw in here to cook up. It's still not enough. And I need... I need... Slabs. We're going to make a bunch, and between... I mean, I'm just going to show you what I mean. And then between episodes, I'll just fill that whole thing up. So I can make three more jars. Ah, too much stuff in my inventory. There. Okay, there, and then... That there. Jars. And we'll leave that there for now. We don't need that just quite yet. 
I might make a directional <sighs> pipe. I mean, it's not like it takes forever to make. It's just, I keep thinking of what I need to make, and I keep forgetting I need to make that too, but we need lapis, and we need pipe, and while I'm over here, I'll make the upgrade core to upgrade as well. Why did I grab two? I only need one. Okay, there's the upgrade. Lapis and a pipe. There's a directional pipe. It'll let Essentia move in one direction only. Because what I'm afraid is going to happen is the suction on this jar is going to be so strong that it won't let any Essentia out. Okay, now we're going to go one, two, three, and there. Okay? So what, hap what should happen? is that jar fills and it'll start to fill the next jar. I know we have suction issues. I know that already. Um, but this works, because I've done it before. Now then. I know that it works, because I've done it before. Now then. A little matter of this. We need to put the directional pipe down. And, well, that's the directional, isn't it? Why isn't it doing what it's supposed to do? There we go. I believe it's the side that the blue bands are on, but let's go check that real fast. Advanced pipe, directional. Accept suction from one direction. The blue markings indicate the direction from which suction will be accepted. See, I don't understand suction. I haven't. At all. Let's go see if the thing is floating or not. Uh, light lit. 23. So I'm over by two minutes now. This is going to be the last thing. I just want to make sure this is working, and then we will... Holy moly! Okay, you need that. Go to it, little buddy. Go to it. Go do your job. Oh, there's nothing for you to pick up anyway. Well, that works too. If I could assign it to a specific chest, that would be even better. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to monitor this for a while and see if it unlights, then I put the directional in the wrong direction. Uh, if it lights just fine and it keeps being lit, that means I put the directional in the correct direction. And that will do it. That's a slight improvement to before. There, see? It's filling up the next one. I guess, I mean, it can only go into this and then it can only go down here. And I'm really not sure why, because even when I hit it with, there's a special tool somewhere in here, wherever the heck it is. Uh, is it under piping? Yeah. There's a special tool, the Essentia Resonator, that's supposed to help you troubleshoot the network, but... As in or, this is the one thing about Thongcraft I just don't get. But I believe this is supposed to work proper. And the one thing I do know is that... Um... That's gonna go in probably forever that'll keep just keep doing it uh, until this is all nothing but magic essentia and we need a lot of it so it's not I mean most of our advanced stuff uses a lot of magic essentia so having this many jars is not overkill trust me you'll see what overkill is in a later episode alrighty so that's gonna wrap it up for this episode 
And what I think we're going to do next episode is continue improving upon this and uh, maybe start making a proper bean farm because we're going to need a lot of Sano. And Sano's important. There's our black sheep. Sano's important for our faceplate, for our armor. Speaking of our armor, we're also going to start working on that too. And what I need for that is a whole musload of Tutaman armor. Okay, and the best way to get that without having mob drops armor is da, 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 leather. Actually, bro. Well, I mean, I'm showing you a leather cap, but leather. <clears throat> of course, the best way to get leather is through cows. So what we're going to have to do... Did I unlock it? I haven't unlocked it yet. I need to go through the guard core first. There's one called Butcher. We need that, and we're also going to need that, the Lamp of Fertility. And guess what? We're probably going to need to take our excess Herba and break it down into Victus for the Lamp of Fertility. So it just... It all kind of ties in and works together. So for now, we're going to go with this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to split Herba between the Lamp of Growth and our another centrifuge to make Victus, okay? That will be all in the next episode. I know these last ones have been a little tedious. Uh, just because our builds are starting to get more complex and it takes a little bit longer to do them. Okay, my one fear... Oh, I guess I don't really care, actually, if he fills this up with great wood logs, too. It's not like I don't have enough. <laughs> I can't believe there's that many in there. That is great. Worked out way better than I thought it was going to. I thought we were going to be waiting forever for it. Alrighty, so if you enjoyed this video... Give me a like down below. You don't have to. If you don't want to, it's your choice. Uh, and also, you know, you can subscribe to my channel for more Minecraft videos with Thumbcraft and others. And some Dwarf Fortress videos. Give me a share if you'd like other people to enjoy this video as well. And leave me some comments down below. I'm still looking for comments so that I know how I can improve my video for you. And with that, I think that we will say, check you later.